hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're returning welcome back today we're gonna be doing boho twists and this video is sponsored by yd wigs we're gonna use their curls the link to the curls is down below as well as the hair that i used to do these twists so I really wanted to add something new to my booking site because I was tired of doing goddess braids and honestly there's a lot more that I could do with my goddess braids but I really just wanted to perfect a different hairstyle. I feel like with my goddess braids what I really need to work on is finding like the perfect curls for the hairstyle because I, I pretty much got it down it's just like there's so many curls and the company does matter so while that's also in the works, I wanted to get a new hairstyle on the page just so I can focus on perfecting that because it just wasn't getting fun anymore. Um, and yeah, I needed something else to do. Like, I just couldn't keep doing it. Um, so we're doing boho twists today and we're parting it like you would part um, medium knotless braids. So there's going to be four at the bottom, two rows below the ear to ear line. First row has four, the second row has five. And I also did this because those small but length hairstyles are taking a toll on my body. So if you're a hairstyle, if you're someone who wants to do a hairstyle that won't take as long, I suggest learning to do twists or doing something with bigger parts. So for these boho twists, whenever I do any braids or any twists, or well, I'm starting off with the braid, so I'm gonna say a braid. Any braid that's at the base of the neck, I always do like a triangle part, as you saw me do just then, instead of a straight down to make three even parts. And I'm just starting it out as I would start like any knotless braid. I'm gonna braid the hair first, I'm gonna add a piece of hair, then I'm gonna do a rotation, then I'm gonna add another piece, then I'm gonna do another rotation and add another piece. And because this is the first time me doing this hairstyle, it's all about figuring out what works this first row is definitely thicker than all the other rows and overall i will say that this hairstyle is on the thicker side and that is like a preference but i would take away some volume when i do it the next time because i feel like it looks better well what i just like medium fullness i always go for full hairstyles and that was definitely what i was trying to achieve but I could have gone with a little bit less full. Regardless, the hairstyle came out great and she loved it. Now, when I'm adding the twist in, you add the curl and then you twist both sides and then you twist them together. It's the same thing you do while you're twisting. You're adding the curl, twisting both sides individually, then twisting them together. And I like to use gel to sleek it down. Um, and yeah. Okay, so here I am adding another curl, and I'm going to twist both sides separately and then twist them together. I just wanted you guys to um, see how I did that again. And it's not really slowed down, but just twist each section and twist it together. Keeps it um, together and tight and allows the curls not to loose. And then you keep going down, and this is going to be me finishing it off, the end curl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it in the same way, twist both sides and twist them together, twist both sides. And I'm just going to go a bit, bit of the way down until I get to the point like with the other ones. And I'm just going to take it, and I'm going to wrap a small piece around, and then I'm going to tie it. I really wanted these to be secure, and I also wanted like the gradient from the twist to the curl not to be too much. That's why I did add thicker curls at the end. Um, I would I would add a little, no, I think I would keep the thickness of the curl at the end, but I would make the shaft, like the whole twist, just a little bit thinner. Overall, just add less hair. And this is going to be me doing the um, next row, and then I'm going to hop into how I parted for the front. Okay, so I'm parting the front, and this is the new pre-part method that I had, I had ooh! that I've been trying and it's basically where you pre-part um, all your rows first if you can look I'm pre-parting it and there's five rows on the top section so I'm pre-parting the rows and while this does get some clean parts I feel like this is a waste of time and I thought it made myself go faster and I started doing it for like the past like you see how I can just connect it to the front and like if you're working on like 
leveling your um, rows, and that's like a problem you face. And I, great tactic, great idea. Keep the rows in the front straight, but I believe it does take some time. Girls, bring it back. Are you but people, that's the thing about social media that I was also, even I saw this on social media, but it was like, it's because people are like, oh, it's because even if you get hate in your comments, or you like, get views, huh? You still get views. So we had a lot of really good conversation and I think it stirred up when she had told me she's seen a picture of Sexy Red and I don't know what it was. She was doing something. I don't know because I, I do make these videos for kids so I'm not going to say it. She was doing something on social media and and she does a lot of things but for this being you know somebody that a lot of young women and children look up to like i went into the beauty supply store one time and this little boy was saying bow 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 and i was like there's no way but no there is a way and he 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 like they listen to the music they know who that is and like that's who women are looking up to like yeah i just feel like we should pick I mean, she's not, I'm, I'm not saying she's asking to be a role model, but like, okay, she's up there. Who else is up there? You know, who are young women looking up to? Who are they trying to be? What are you trying to grow up to be? Six. <sighs> Anyways, yeah. So this is the last time I'm going to show you guys how I do this in the video. And I'm just going to show you like the, the beginning part. Um, and how I started off with a knotless braid. I'm not really going to do talking. Too much talking for the rest of the video. I think this is really it. Um, um, it's really what I did the first time. Separated into three parts. You add hair in. You add in like three pieces. Oh, by the time I did get to the top and I realized that I wanted my braids to be a little bit thinner. I started using thinner pieces of... Um, you see how thin that is versus like the initial i started using thinner pieces of that marley that of that oh girl speak of that cuban twist hair so this is me adding like smaller pieces um then I, I just add three and then i go into um making it into a twist and i used marley hair instead of braiding hair because it does slip and um yeah it slips so my hair is really kinky and like with kinky hair that can just slip out or if like it gets humid and you're using Senegalese hair with twists for your kinky forcey hair your forcey hair is gonna come out and it's gonna show um but yeah that is all for this video thank you guys so 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 much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel um and put down any recommendations below some hairstyles you like for me to do i would love to learn how to do the braided baldy but i'm not a cornrow girly like it's just i'm just a boho girly boho locks boho twists boho braids mm-hmm